three losses in a row and Philly fans are already starting to think the worst. The Flyers lost to Dallas 5-1 last night, but if you watch the game, it wasn't as much of a blow as people thought. Felix Sanderson actually made some big saves early on, but what killed the Flyers was this shorthanded goal right at the beginning of the third. A quick face-off loss and an active D from Dallas makes it an on-man rush, and it ends up in the back of their net in the first minute of the third period. You never want to give up goals in the last minute or the first minute of the period, and that right there was a backbreaker with it being 3-1. As for the rest of the goals against, four of the five were tipped in as Philly didn't do the best job tying up sticks in front. However, some nights are just going to be that way. I made a video about this earlier in the season, but when the Philadelphia Flyers hired John Tortorella, they made a commitment to building a certain culture there. Last year was a disaster for the Flyers, and everyone doubted their effort on certain nights. But so far, this hasn't been the case with a guy like John Tortorella coaching this team, and that's expected. For majority of their games, Philly has looked like a structured team that gives 100% most nights. And while they may be a work in progress, that's all you can ask from a group that lacks game-breaking talent. Now, with three losses in a row, the post-game interview did invite questions of doubt from reporters, but how Torts answers this question is just brilliant. The reporter asked Torts about the standard he's trying to set to be a Philadelphia Flyer and how they're adapting to that standard so far. And this was Torts' response. Yeah, I, I like the guys. I I'd be a lot more upset uh, with a loss if I don't think they're trying. You can boo us, you can talk shit about us. I will back those guys because they are trying. If it was an effort problem, then it's a different story. So... Those are the things that I have to coach. Those are the things that I have to be fair about when we're trying to build this team. I'm very pleased with the effort. I don't give a shit what people think about out here. Now, I don't know about you, but that is a coach I'd go through a wall for. After a bit of a lackluster performance and three losses in a row, he could have went to town on the players, but he didn't. Instead, he gives his support and admires their effort as a team thus far into the season. As a coach, your job is to get the absolute most out of your players, and for a team that has had very little expectations this season, this was a masterclass from John Tortorella. The goal for the Flyers isn't about results, it's about the process process and instilling this organization with the right habits and culture to win in the long term. So let me know what you think about the Flyers so far this season. Do you think this is the beginning of the wheels falling off or will they continue to be competitive right until the finish line? And right before we end this video, if you can, please check out the new Drop the Mitts campaign from Hockey Helps the Homeless. Every pair of mitts purchased will help provide a full day's worth of meals to someone in need. It's a fantastic initiative and a great way to keep your hands warm this winter while contributing to a good cause. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave those links for you to check out down below. As always, I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.